Hello, this is the Innovate APAC editorial team, and today we're going to be talking about the finalists of the Innovate APAC Awards. Sila, we've got 53 projects across seven different categories mm -hmm. from all across Asia Pacific. There are so many countries and regions that have been represented. What are your first thoughts when you look at these finalists? Right. The first thing that came to my mind, the, the scale and quality of all these projects are just on another level. It's impressive. It's getting bigger. It's getting better than like the previous years. And yeah, I think it's just impressive. I think our judges' lives will be very difficult this year. I agree with you. And I think that this is just a sign of the growth that is happening in the Asia Pacific region. Mm -hmm. We are seeing so many amazing projects being undertaken by the end users and then being delivered mm -hmm. by these AV professionals. Corporate, like you mentioned, education is another one. These are always extremely hotly contested categories and it is no different this year. Yeah. You know, like you mentioned education, uh, corporate, right? So for corporate, we're seeing not just AV in meeting spaces anymore. It's also about AV being in like the people-centric spaces. You've got clubhouses, town halls, cafeterias, you know, reception halls, and we're seeing how AV can shape communal experiences. So, yeah. Yeah. And personally, I believe it's not just restricted to corporate. Mm -hmm. um, you see world-class level performance auditoriums mm -hmm. in education. Hospitality is merging with entertainment mm -hmm. because those two can't be unlinked. Yeah. And in general, just these additional elements to these projects are adding another layer for our independent judging panel to yeah. consider and to evaluate these contestants. And sometimes when it's very, very, very close, mm. these additional elements are what can get you that yeah. way. Yeah, and you know, we we keep talking about experience, right, in AV. And I feel like AV, it's not just about experience anymore, but AV specialists have the power to create their own stories now. So I see AV as like a tool for storytelling, and I think that's something very special now. Yeah, and this is something that our judges have pointed out in the past years, and it has actually become something that we judge and grade projects on, which is storytelling. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got a vested in a vested interest in making sure that their story is being told mm -hmm. in a clear, concise manner. It's not just for museums. It's yeah. not just for experience centers, mm -hmm. right? Corporate deployments, education facilities, they all have an interest in making sure that their story and their narrative is, is clear and that yeah. their mission is being communicated. Yeah. And obviously, technology is the best way to kind of get that message across to someone who is just entering your space and, and being there and working and existing. Yeah. Winners are going to be announced on the 17th of July in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. uh, Nyla, are you excited? I am very excited. There's so much to look forward to. Yeah. yeah. You can still get on the guest list if you want to. Just reach out to the Innovate team and we will see you on the 17th of July in Bangkok.